Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to make soft and tasty beetroot roti. It's a very healthy recipe. So do watch this recipe till the end. And before moving on to the recipe, please hit the red color subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get notified on my new videos. These beetroot rotis are very easy to make and they'll turn out to be super soft and fluffy. They're very easy to digest and are very nutritious so let's look into this recipe take a pan and add uh, two teaspoons of oil i'm using coconut oil here you can use whichever oil you are using in your kitchen add two teaspoons of jeera and i'm adding three to four black peppers you can even add jeera powder or black pepper powder instead of adding the whole spices Add few curry leaves and two finely chopped green chilies and saute well in oil until it releases its flavors. So next I am going to add a little bit of ink. This will give a very good taste. To this I will be adding one and a half cups of grated beetroots. Wash the beetroots, peel the skin and grate it and measure one and a half cups of grated beetroot and add it to your tempering. Roast this well on medium flame until it combines well with the flavors. Don't add water while cooking the beetroots, they have their natural water content. So after roasting it, add some salt to taste around 2 teaspoons of salt and mix it well after mixing it well we will cover this with a lid and allow it to cook for around 10 minutes after 10 minutes the beetroots are cooked well I mean it's cooked partially so that much of cooking is enough and we will allow this to cool down Transfer this to a bowl and allow it to cool down completely. After completely cooling it down, transfer it to your mixer jar. In order to make fine paste, add a little bit of water. 1 teaspoon of water and, uh, and also I had forgotten to add the 1 teaspoon of ginger. So add this and make a fine paste. In a mixing bowl, add 2 cups of wheat flour and we need to add the prepared paste into this wheat flour so all the ingredients has to be well combined in the dough so you need to knead this for 5 minutes at least if required you can add a little bit of water while kneading the dough in order to make a very smooth and soft dough you need to knead this into your regular chapati dough the consistency has to be the same knead this for a while and at the end add 1 teaspoon of oil and tuck in all the oil into the dough and knead it again let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes before rolling out the rotis so after 20 minutes the dough has been rested well squeeze out a small portion of the dough and dust some wheat flour over it and roll out into regular roti the size has to be medium size roll all the edges as well also keep the tawa for heating and put the rolled roti on the heated tawa and flip over after you see bubbles on one side and then flip over and roast in the pulka method to get soft beetroot rotis here I have not applied any ghee or oil if you wish to roast your beetroot rotis using ghee or oil, you can roast them by applying some ghee or oil on the tawa. 
Similarly, make all the other rotis and stack all the rotis one above the other to get some soft rotis. This is a great lunch recipe and I hope you all will try this recipe today. Serve these delicious and nutritious beetroot rotis along with some curd and pickle. And do give it a try and share your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Like this video and share this video with your friends and family. Until next time, happy cooking, healthy eating. Stay tuned for more such wonderful recipes and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.